Well, this is Jordan Privet, 20 year old mother gunned down last night in Bethune, the father of her children in critical condition. Now, Privet, the latest victim in a string of deadly domestic incidents in the Midlands over the last week. And tonight in Sumter, a memorial for three children killed by their father last week. Those children were five, six and 11 years old and were shot in their sleep by their father who killed a man in his ex-wife's yard, stormed into the woman's home, shot the children then himself. Then Sunday night in Richland County, 25 year old Allen University grad Winter Straw shot and killed by a man she was romantically involved with after an hours long standoff with deputies, Renato Johnson then killed himself. That brings us back to last night's incident. And here's a breakdown of what we know about what happened in Kershaw County. 20 year old Jordan Privet shot and killed at a home in Bethune. Deputies got there and found her dead, the father of her children on the floor with a gunshot wound. Investigators say it's not the first time they've been called to a situation involving the pair. Privet's family is still struggling to understand why the young woman died. Her kids so much, she was just a great mother. And you know, it's the fact that she can't see them no more or grow up. So we'll, when we raise them, we'll make sure that they remember their mom. We don't know how she got shot. Um, we feel she was shot before the call was made. Um, then uh, we think it was self-inflicted uh, upon itself after the call was made. Jordan Privet leaves behind two children, a one-year-old and the other just four months old. Their father is on life support at the hospital. Last night's shooting is just the latest in a deadly string of domestic incidents and someone to know what can be done to help. Our Jay Coleman has been talking domestic violence uh, advocacy groups and state leaders today about resources and the potential of making stronger laws in this state. Right now he's live at the state house with more. Jake, what do we know? Brian Samantha, there have been three deadly domestic incidents here in the Midlands in just the past nine days. Now, advocacy groups I've spoken with and state lawmakers tell me that the push for prevention continues and it might need to be even more aggressive. Um, it's escalating. It's a cycle. So, you know, after the explosion, things calm down, things are looking good. Maybe things can change and then escalation happens again. And and then boom, here we are. That's Leah Weisevic from Sister Care talking about the cycle of domestic violence. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence in South Carolina, 42% of women and 29% of men experience physical violence from a partner. Right now, there are proposals in play at the state house to help protect domestic violence victims, backed by several lawmakers, including Senator Katrina Shealy. One of them is protecting victims of domestic violence from having their address, you know, publicized. Senator Shealy's bill is one of many ways to help domestic violence victims, but Weisevic says it's only one part of the solution. She urges early intervention by teaching young people about the dangers of violence. We have a teen outreach program. Let's talk to these kids about healthy relationships. Let's talk to these kids about the intergenerational cycle of violence. Because um, a lot of times when you're raised in a violent home, it's perpetuated into your adulthood, whether as a victim or um, a perpetrator. South Carolina still remains one of the highest ranked states in rated of men killing women. Leaders say talking about the issue is a good way to help prevent it. If you see a, a chance, if you see somebody that looks like then there's a problem, ask. If you see it, ask somebody. Now, if you know someone in a dangerous situation or you yourself might be worried you're in one, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 800-799-7233. Live here in Columbia, Jay Coleman, Watch Fox News, local first. Thank you, Jake. Of course, we'll continue to track those proposals at the State House as uh, they continue to progress throughout this legislative session and still some unanswered questions about what happened in Kershaw County last night. We'll continue to track that situation as well and bring you the very latest on our website, WACH.com. You can also stay up to date on this story and more by downloading the Watch Fox News app. Just scan the QR code right there on your screen.